The National Sugar Institute of India and the National Sugar Development Council of Nigeria have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the establishment of a sugar institute in Nigeria. The MOU was signed by the Executive Secretary of NSDC, Dr. Latif Busari, and the Director General, NCI, Mr. Narendra Mohan, at the India High Commission in Abuja. Busari said the collaboration with NSI would help address the challenges faced in the implementation of Nigeria's sugar master plan. As you all know, we uh, launched the Nigeria Sugar Master Plan uh, about six, seven years ago. And um, during the uh, midterm review meeting that came up in 2017, it became clear that uh, we have uh, a serious challenge in terms of the death of technical manpower. Uh, if we succeed in establishing those sugar estates, and succeed in establishing those sugar factories, there are the people that will work in the factories and the, and, and the, and the, and the farms. So that was why we now decided that we need to set up an institution that will rapidly you know, develop the technical manpower that we need in the sugar industry. And of course, when we uh, decided on that, we started looking for where we could uh, leverage on the experiences that um, you know, several nations have already had. We don't have to uh, reinvent the wheel. And uh, you know, looking around, we came to decide on two institutions, really. One of them is the uh, National Sugar Institute of Kampo, and, uh, and uh, it's that the, what you see today is the outcome of our interaction with them over the past few months. We will generate over 400 megawatts of electricity. We will produce over 160 million liters of ethanol. These are the, if we are able to, you know, completely implement the plan. Responding, Bohan said that the agreement was to set up an institute in Eloring, Quara State. Of course, of time we are going to begin the training sessions for the faculty. We have identified the faculty. So initially, ten people are to be trained uh, as the faculty of the uh, coming uh, Nigerian Sugar Institute. And the third is, you know, which is very important. Uh, you are having a few sugar factories, and there is a huge gap between the demand supply of the sugar. Yes. So you are into the capacity building. But the capacity building is one thing. Second is running your plant with efficiency. The Indian High Commissioner to Nigeria spoke on the good relationship between both countries. In fact, just in the last three years, under the Indian ITEC capacity building program, 529 Nigerians have received training in various institutes in India, in many spheres from financial ma management, agriculture practices, ICT, security training, a whole range of uh, solar energy. So this is a long-standing cooperation between our two countries. And I might even mention for the benefit of our Indian delegates here that in the mid-70s and 80s, a large number of Indian uh, doctors, teachers, professionals were brought consciously uh, by the government of Nigeria to, to this country. In fact, the Nigerian equivalent of the Public Service Commission, the UPSC, used to go to India uh, and actually actively recruit uh, civil servants uh, in professionals, I mean, those, uh, those in the civil service who are uh, of professional nature and essentially doctors and teachers. And this is something which has really uh, served both countries very well.